This is Darshana Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for July 4th, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up by 0.38 points or 0.09% to 414.37. Total trade volume was slightly up to 137,695 shares, changing hands at a total trade value of 956.4 million Khmer real or roughly 232,000 US dollars. On the main board, four stocks were up, with the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port leading the market once again, up 9.96% or 1,440 real to 15,900 real per share. Pestec Cambodia followed in second, up 2.27% or 50 real to 2,250 real per share. Other stocks up were the Phnom Penh Special Economic Zone and Akleda Bank. On the downside, Sienegville Autonomous Port was the biggest loser of the day, down 3.10% or 380 real to 11,880 real per share. The Phnom Penh Water Supply Authority followed in second, down by 1.13% or 80 real to 7,000 real per share. Cam GSM and Grand Twins International, meanwhile, remained flat. On the growth board, DVD Engineering was up by 0.49% or 10 real to 2,070 real per share, while JS Land was down 2.11% or 80 real to 3,710 real per share. Akleda Bank was the day's trade volume leader, with 34,494 shares changing hands at a value of 258.9 million real or around 62,800 US dollars, equivalent to roughly 18.6% of all shares traded on July 4th. Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ followed closely in second, with 34,482 shares traded at a value of 19,125 US dollars. In other market news, the CSX saw the 23rd profile listing of a government bond by the Ministry of Economy and Finance, with an issue price between 979,431 Khmer real to 1,014,004 Khmer real per unit, so roughly between 238 and 250 US dollars per unit, with a total of 43,300 units issued. The government bond has a 4.5% per annum coupon rate and a maturity of three years, with coupon payments to be made twice. The Khmer real to USD weakened slightly to 4,118 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index was down to 105.40. Oil prices edged lower on Thursday, retreating from the previous session's multi-month highs, with investors taking profits as demand caution remained in focus despite last week's decline in US inventories. Brent crude futures were down 43 cents or 0.49% at 86.91 US dollars a barrel, while US West Texas intermediate crude futures fell 49 cents or 0.58% to 83.39 US dollars in trade, thinned by the US Independence Day holiday. Gold prices slightly decreased on Thursday but stayed close to a two week high reached in the previous session. This follows weaker than expected US economic data. Spot gold dipped 0.1% to 2,353.14 US dollars per ounce after reaching its highest level since June 21st in the previous session. US gold futures also fell, losing 0.3% to 2,363.10 US dollars per ounce. US stock and bond markets will be closed for the 4th of July holiday, with trading only resuming on July 5th. European shares, meanwhile, rose amid optimism around U.S. interest rate cuts following soft economic data, while London markets gained as voting began in the U.K. with opinion polls predicting a historic win for the Labour Party. Japan's benchmark, Nikkei 225, gained 0.8% to 40,913.65, with buying of automakers' shares and other export-oriented stocks pushing the benchmark to an all-time high. Elsewhere in Asia, Hong Kong's Hang Seng recovered from early losses, rising 0.2% to 18,018.72, and the Shanghai Composite Index shed 0.8% to 2,957.57. This was Darshana Gauchen with your B2B Cambodia Market Update for July 4th.